Listen, you get, yo, why not? Yo, sometimes you gotta take your wins, and sometimes you gotta take your losses, yo. You know, oh, what I mean? yo, you don't, you, you don't, you don't, you don't keep beating a dead horse, yo. Yeah, you sound like a real drinking friend, especially wearing a a worse behavior hat. <laughs> <laughs> That Meek Mill, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna say it on camera because I like to put my shit out there. I went into it not wanting to listen to it, and it's been out for a while, and this is my first time listening to it. I, you know, I, I really had no intentions on checking for it, and just like I told you on the phone, when I saw that it was 17 tracks, and then they had the deluxe version that was 19 tracks, I specifically picked on the one that was 17 tracks because I didn't want to hear 17 tracks of Meek Mill. I didn't want to hear that shit. But, yo, that shit, was, that shit was a good listen, yo. That shit was a good listen. I sat down a couple times and vibed off to it. And and, and I'm going to talk my shit real fast. Yo, it's funny. You can see, like, in, in my opinion, and one thing I'm, I'm going to give Meek his respect for, you can see his growth in this one. You know, he went from, even in the album titles, you know, he went from Dreams and Nightmares and what was the other one, Dreams and whatever, to now wins and losses. You can tell now he done been through some shit, and now he got shit more to rap about now. Because it, it was more than just that brag rap, you know. And it's almost like he, he came from that kid who finally made it and was so happy he made it, he just had to keep talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. And now in this album, he really got shit to talk about. Yo, I thought that shit was a dope album. I thought it was dope all the way through. It's, it's like two songs or three, maybe three, that if I was to listen to it in the future, I probably would skip. Like if I'm just taking a ride and I got it on, I probably would skip like two or three of the tracks on there. But that shit, I fuck with it. What you got to say about it? I feel, I felt the same way going into it. I'm like, yo, I don't want to hear this nigga, yo. Like, I don't want to hear this shit. But on one song, yo did talk about the Roly, but it wasn't, it was a Roly chain. You know? <laughs> you know, yo got to throw the Roly. Like, like, that's me, you know, that's me the Roly shit, yo. And you know, it, 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 it was kind of like, while I'm listening to it, I'm like this. Yeah, this nigga ain't had no bars for Drake. That's all, that's all I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking like that. I'm like, yo. I didn't want him to have no bars for Drake. Listen, you get, yo, why not? Yo, sometimes you gotta take your wins, and sometimes you gotta take your losses, yo. You know, oh, what I mean? you, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't your... keep beating a dead horse, yo. Yeah, you sound like a real drinking friend, especially wearing a a worse behavior hat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, you sound just like yo, yo. This is the thing, yo. Meat Mill could have. Come um, on, yo. You make me yo, listen. listen, listen, no, no, no. Listen to this setup. Did you hear Meek Mill interview when he was talking about the whole Drake beef and shit? When he was in the car with uh, Techstone? No, 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 no. He did one recently. I don't know who it was. And he was like, he had put it out there. He was like, yo, I was tripping. I was on the lean in the Zannies back then. He, yo, he admitted to taking that loss. You know, he admitted to taking that loss. So, yo, hold, oh, yeah. hold, 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 pause, 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 pause. <laughs> The situation is set up to the point where Drake retired back to back. He officially said he's never going to perform it again. It's done, yo. You know when? You know you did. Oh, you don't want Jay Z to still be rapping about Nas. Yo, I feel that, yo. But this is what I'm saying. And while I'm listening to the uh, Meat Mills and shit, I'm like, yo, you know, certain things are running through my head. I'm listening to it. But shit running through my head at the same time, where I'm like, yo, it's still it's still weighing on my head that you let Drake fuck you up, that you didn't have no fight in that shit. He took his out. He can't make good music now because he took it out of Drake. Listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you're yeah. trying to job rule him. That's what you're you trying let to me do. finish. You let me finish it. Yeah. You let me finish it. Yeah. I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I, th I, th I think he's, you know, I'm thinking he's a, he's a, he was a good enough rapper that he could have gave him more of a fight than what the fuck he did. That's what I'm saying. But as I'm listening to it, I'm like, yo, all right, I'm, I'm liking this shit. Next track, I mean, I'm liking that. But he's spitting. So as I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening, 
I'm hearing more and more tracks and I'm liking. I'm like, all right, this shit was, this shit was all right. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, he had some shit on there. Yeah, he definitely had some shit. It was a dope album. This one, yo. Oh, uh, yeah, Never Lose. The joint Never Lose and Glow Up. They two that I definitely wouldn't listen to again. I mean, I don't think I would listen to uh, Run That Check Up or Fuck That Check Up too many times, neither. With Lil Uzi. Like, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't listen to that, neither. But other than those, like, three songs, I like Ain't everything it? else. You said the one with Young Thug, right? Yeah, that shit really wasn't that. It really wasn't. It really wasn't good. Now, I'm just waiting. <laughs> that shit really now... Yeah, and see, and that's another one. Just listening to it, that's another one that I probably wouldn't go back to. You're right. I wouldn't go back to that one. Because right. he had that auto-tune. He was auto-tuning, too. You know, Meek Mill do do the auto-tune a couple times, and I think he can do it. My bad. I think he can do it. Um, Sometimes I like it. But, yeah, that shit really was. That shit was dumb. Yo, I like I like uh, the shit Heavy Hearts. Hold on. Cause I don't know if I know the name of it. Hold on. That's that shit. Like I gave my mother a thousand. I gave my mother a thousand, about ten thousand times, ten thousand, a thousand times, some shit like. That. Right. Yeah, that shit was dope. <clears throat> the uh, the shit uh, 1942 flows. Yeah, that's like my favorite shit on there. The that shit, shit. Um. I like issues. Issues hard. Yeah, that was tight. I like um. What was the shit with Quavo? Oh, uh, that's towards the end. Ball player. Ball player. I knew you was like that. You really like Quavo, yo. <laughs> As much as you talked about how you, I'm not a Migos fan, you be liking all they shit now. All they yeah. shit. Yeah. That's what you, I said. you moved they, to Atlanta and became a motherfucker, nah. a, mumble, a mumble rapper. Nah, that ain't, that, ain't, that ain't what happened, yo. Yo, I be liking, yo, Quavo be having some shit to say. So I fuck with him, yo. But yo, this shit was tight. And Young Black America was tough. Yeah, that shit was good, that, too. Over the, what, that's the Jay-Z beat joint, right? Right. What about that joint with Future? I don't remember that one. <laughs> anyway, that shit was cool. Um, I'm going to tell you this, though. That joint with Rick Ross and Yo Gotti. That the dots. I yeah. really, I really want fucking with that new it was cool, but it, again, I'm listening to it, and I'm and it, it, like if I go back to it in the future, I probably would skip that one. I like the Rick Ross, the joint um, with Tiana Taylor and Rick Ross. That shit was hard towards the end. That joint was dope. Yo, yeah. Price, yo, Price hard as shit, yo. I was listening in Price and felt like that nigga was talking my life on that joint, yo. That joint hard. That shit tough. That shit tough. Even just the intro, which you'll be talking about in the beginning, nigga be like, yo, I didn't gave nigga shit like a thousand, ten thousand times or some shit. Tell a nigga yeah. no one time, nigga flip. Man, that shit was dope. That shit was, that shit was crazy. Yo, Meek surprised me. I was really not expecting, uh, you know what I mean, for it to be this dope. I gave him an eight, though. What'd you give him? I gave him an eight. It was a good album, yo, like. Just listening to it. You take those tracks out that I was talking about. And again, that's the that's the challenge of going beyond 12 to 15 tracks. Really 12, 14. When you start going over, you're going to... And, and maybe he wanted to give him that meat. Like run that checkup and all that. That's that yelling meat, that trap meat. Maybe he wanted to stay true and give him that. That That's not my favorite meat, though. But overall, i definitely give it an 8. i check it out. I, I'm pretty sure most people have checked it out by now. If you haven't, I would recommend for you to check it out. We probably the only ones that press. No, it's somebody. It's somebody else that pressed pause on that joint. That's probably gonna check it out now. Definitely, if you ain't checked it out, go check that shit out. That Meek Mill, it's worth it. It's definitely yeah, it's, worth it. it's worth the listen. He talk. He dropped some jewels on there. He be dropping a couple jewels that make me be like, uh, he talk. That's why I say I, you can definitely see his growth. I'm gonna want to check now. I'm gonna go into listening to his next project differently. I ain't going to be like, I ain't waiting to hear Meek Mill. His next project come out, I'll I check for it. Mm, yeah, I'll I, I check for it if somebody tell me to. 
I'm not going to go check for it. What I'm saying is it ain't going to take me this long to listen to it. Yeah. This nigga still, this nigga hate. Gave my man an eight and still hating, yo. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. Meek Mill wins and losses. I give it an eight. Tim give it an eight. Go check yeah. it out. Just because you're in school and you might pass that test to get a 95 on the test don't mean you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, nigga? That's why I gave him the eight. I might, you know, you still got shit to prove to me. Do it on this next album. So you want here to see you got. Man, I ain't doing this with you, man. He got to hand it in. I ain't doing this to you. This nigga talking about going to school, getting 95s, being dumb, man. Whatever, man. That's so, what it is, y'all. Meek Mill wins in love. Go ahead. Talk your shit. Go. That's it. They going to get it. You done? They going to get it. You done, you, done hating? you done hating? Yeah, I'm good. Meek Mill wins and losses, man. I'm DJ Big Diesel. I'm just Tim, I'm gonna sip my beer. One of the last of a dime three. You know where hip hop live without the skinny jeans. That's why I walk with a different walk, fought with a different heart, talk.